In a grassy meadow, filled with wonderful sounds, there lived a small country mouse. His name was Sylvester. He loved his meadow very much, for all his friends and favorite things were there. On the north, little birds fluttered in the dusty road and chirped with happiness in the morning sun. In the south, meadowlarks flew from tree to tree and sang special songs to each other. Sylvester heard them and felt happy. To the east, there was a cornfield where winds blew softly by day and crickets chirped all night long. And on the west, there was a silver brook that bubbled and gurgled over rocks and under a bridge. Sylvester loved all the sounds of his meadow, for he had a musical ear. He woke with the sounds of singing birds. All day he listened to the waters of the brook and the wind in the corn. At night, he would sit and hum softly to himself. As he fell asleep, he listened to the chirping crickets. One day, men came from the city with big machines. Sylvester was very upset, for they dug up the little road on the north and made a big highway. The birds were frightened and flew away. Their music was gone, and Sylvester heard only the zoom and whoosh of traffic. Men cut down the lovely woods on the south to put up rows and rows of houses. They chased away the meadowlarks, who went to sing somewhere else. That was just the beginning. For the men cut down the cornfield on the east to make room for shops. As the city came closer, it left no room for chirping crickets or soft winds. Men dug up the silver brook and stopped the musical gurgle. Sylvester felt lonely and sad, and he stopped humming to himself. All he could hear was the zoom and whoosh of cars and trucks. One day, the men came back with the bulldozer. They dug up the grassy meadow where Sylvester lived. And they even dug up Sylvester. That was the last straw. I am no longer a country mouse. I have become a city mouse, said Sylvester. I must find a new home. And away he went. It was hard to find the right place for a mouse with a musical ear. All at once, he heard lovely music. And in he went. It seemed just right for a mouse with a musical ear. So he decided to stay. Inside, Sylvester found a fine home with a little door and a wire fence. In he went, humming softly to himself for the first time in days. He was a happy city mouse. He loved the house and the music he heard. Violins, drums, and pianos. When he went out through his doorway, he walked across his wire fence and made lovely music. Sylvester was very quiet by day, for he was listening to the music in the shop. When the shop was dark at night, he played on his wire fence. He played all kinds of songs, quiet ones and noisy ones. People going by the shop at night asked the storekeeper, who is playing music in your shop at night? One night, the storekeeper listened very quietly in the dark and heard Sylvester begin to play his music. He did not see Sylvester in the dark. He saw that it came from the guitar. A guitar that plays by itself. Why, it must be magic, he cried. People heard about the magic guitar and stood outside the shop at night to listen. Far away in the west, Tex heard about the magic guitar. Tex loved singing and music, but had no guitar. A magic guitar is just what I need, he decided. Away to the city went Tex. It was a long way, so he sang to make the trip shorter. Finally, he came to the city and found the magic guitar. He bought the guitar from the storekeeper, and that made him very happy. Tex set off for the west with his magic guitar. He traveled along, singing as he went. 
Inside the guitar was Sylvester sound asleep. That night, Tex stopped to rest in a grassy meadow. Out of the quiet darkness, Tex heard music coming from the guitar. Tex looked up, and there was Sylvester. This is not a magic guitar, cried Tex. This is a magic mouse, a mouse with a musical ear. Sylvester stopped playing and looked around. He saw a lovely grassy meadow and heard lovely country sounds. He looked up and saw Tex. They liked one another at once and soon became great friends. Sylvester went home with Tex. He played the guitar while Tex sang. I'm just back from the city with my new guitar. I'm just back from the city, city oh so far. They made lovely music together and traveled all around making music. Sylvester traveled inside his house. He would sit quietly at night, humming softly to himself. Sometimes he was a country mouse and sometimes a city mouse. But he was always a musical mouse. A mouse with a musical ear. <laughs>